Hey guys, it is AD Video Editor here, and in this tutorial, I'm going to go over some great Cydia apps and tweaks to download that can customize and make your phone or any iDevice look very cool. So the first one I'm going to show you is, of course, it has to be Winterboard. And now Winterboard is a very cool app that allows you to install themes on your phone, changing the entire look. And as you see, it says it's compatible from iOS 2.0 through 6.1. However, even though it says that, it is still compatible with iOS 7. They just haven't upgraded the um, uh, iOS firmware compatibility. And all you need to do is download this app and find some themes you like, install it, and that's how your phone will look. However, one thing about Winterboard you should be aware of is that it does slow down your iDevice significantly. So for me right now, I'm not currently, I don't currently have it on because I'm currently trying to have my device function as fast as possible. However, in a future tutorial, I will show you guys how to modify Winterboard so that it doesn't slow down as your phone as much as it could. So keep your eyes open for that future tutorial. And the next app I'm going to show you is Iconoclasm. And what Iconoclasm does is it'll change the layout of the icons on your home screen. So by default, all your screens are 4x4. Four four. However, with Iconoclasm, you can make it like 3x3, three 2x2, three, two two, or you could download additional layouts that are in these random funky shapes. And with Iconoclasm, there's another app that acts just like this and is newer. It's called Home Screen Designer. And Home Screen Designer is just like Iconoclasm, however, it's a little bit newer, so it was made for iOS 7. See, as you see here, it says requires iOS 7, so this is only compatible with iOS 7. And one neat feature about Home Screen Designer is that in the app itself, you can create your own layouts. However, with Iconoclasm, you have to download an additional app to create layouts. And for me, I personally prefer Iconoclasm because for some reason um, I get an error and because for some reason I get an error in Home Screen Designer that doesn't let me create and save any layouts which I find very annoying. So I currently don't have either on here but if I did put one on right now I'd probably put Iconoclasm until Home Screen Designer is upgraded to fix that bug that I'm getting. And as you noticed, real quick, that in both of these apps that I showed you, Iconoclasm and Home Screen Designer, it said purchase product for, and Home Screen Designer was $2 and Iconoclasm was $3. However, using Cydia sources that I showed you to get in my one of my previous tutorials, there are these other sources that provide Home Screen Designer, such as Insanely I, or Insane Eli, and this has the same version, but for free. So all you need to do is install it. So it's just the same one, except it's free, pretty much. And there, it's the same with Iconoclasm. Next, I'm going to show you Barrel. And what Barrel allows you to do is change the way your icons animate as you swipe between screens. So since I have this app on my phone, I will show you it. So you see, as I slowly swipe between my screens, I get this animation with the apps. And if I go into my settings and find barrel, I can change the animation. So I can make it like a cube, and I don't even need to respring once I change it. And I see as I change this, it's kind of like a 3D cube right there. See it? Or I can make it something like crazy, this Pac-Man effect I kind of like. And if I go on that, it'll just make him, all your apps like spin around like that. And so the last customization app, well, this one's actually a tweak that I'm going to show you, is called Hidden SB Settings for iOS 7. And this app was made for iOS 7, so it uses iOS 7 as a cool way. So once you install this, if you swipe up to view the control center, 
it adds this new setting right here it's called springboard settings and what this will allow you to do is if you go in it like this can let you modify and change almost anything with your phone so the one I like the most is folders and this can allow me to have nested folders it'll let me pinch to close the folder and by default blur back folder background is on but I turned it off so that my folder background is actually transparent so it doesn't look like there's any background which I like and another thing that I've done is under control panel I can change the color of it so instead of the highlight color being orange I can make it let's say green all I do is press done and you see how the color changed and there's all these other colors with a bunch of different settings that you can modify and change to however you like so feel free to look through these and play around and see if you can um, change any settings to make your phone look a little bit cooler so that's it for this tutorial those are just some pretty basic cool customization apps and tweaks for your iOS 7 device Please continue to watch my tutorials as I will continue making some iOS 7 videos going specifically with how to use apps to just some cool general apps for a specific use. So once again, thanks for watching. Please subscribe, like, comment, and if you have any questions, comments, complaints, anything, email me at ad.videoeditor at gmail.com.